This one. Back with another episode of At The Crib. Today we're doing public interviews and we're asking spicy questions. I'm here with... Adriana. Amen. I'm here with Jesus Christ himself. 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 Now what's your real name? Alright, alright. It's John. It's John. Pineapple and tequila. Karen. <laughs> Kristen. Phoebe. Kabir. Emily. Uh, Kyle. And Officer Joshi. So, what is it that you look for in men or women? Whatever you prefer. Go first, go first. Mentality, for sure. What does that mean? Mentality. Meaning, Elaborate. we don't like the fuckboy mentality. Ooh. We don't like the mentality of wasting your time. Ooh. And, Adriana, you wanna help me on this one? Last I one? I have something to say, okay. I want somebody that I can admire. Why? Be something, yeah. Someone that I can admire. So the day that I fall out of love with him, I still admire that man. And once we're married, it's for the long run. So once you're locked in, you're locked in. I'm locked in. I'm looking for marriage. No going back. No going back. We work it out because what what happens in this generation, I feel like everybody's looking for the next best thing, right? But what my parents have been married for 35 years. And so that's what I want. That's somebody that you grow with. It's not going to be easy. It's not a movie. It's not something that it's just like, oh, it's flowers and butterflies. No. So you have to work for it and you have to work hard. I'm willing to work hard. What is it that you look for? A fat ass and a personality. Jesus likes a dumper. What do you look for in men or women, whatever you prefer? Brains. Brains. Mm -hmm. Number one. Intelligence. Intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number one without a doubt. Number one. She didn't even hesitate. Nope. Okay. I've thought about this many, many times. Friends. Many times. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, personality for me. Like, we have to vibe. Like, personality. We have to vibe. We have to click. And then I'll see. Yeah. So if the energy isn't right, if the vibe yeah, isn't right, I don't feel right, you're not fucking with it. Nope. I feel that. That's yeah. fair. For real. Height. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll take you at 5'6". I just need you to admit that you're 5'6". I need you to be honest in your height. Yeah. In the same vein, I'll say in ten Don't years. lie. If you Muggsy Bogues, for real, don't lie. If you Kevin if Hart... If was ducking on half them <laughs> in the NBA, if you Muggsy Bogues, come talk to me. If you Kevin Hart... Come talk to me. No, keep I, it real. Don't talk to me. If you Kevin Hart, don't talk to me. But if you Muggsy Bogues and you <laughs> athletic, talk to me. Yeah. Talk your shit, King. A short King. Talk to me. What else you look for? If you can make me laugh. Humor. If you're she, not, Oh, family. She, family. If you're close to your family the way that I am, I'm Haitian. So, of course, family is everything to me. She actually wants Kevin Hart. Funny and short. That's crazy. Like kindness and integrity. Kindness and integrity. She wants a nice guy. Yeah, or if, like, your name is um, Da Vinci, yeah, that'd be it. Do that know, helps. Vinci. Yeah, or Smino, Smino da Vinci, love for rent. That sounds real personal or real specific. What it is that you look for? Um, I look for somebody who respects me, mm. makes me laugh. Respect. Uh, laugh adds value you. to my life. Ooh, yeah. talk to me nice, adds value. Mm. Very good. I like someone with a sense of humor and just someone that I can like have a natural conversation with and it doesn't feel forced or like we're just trying to keep the conversation going. Something just like chemistry, you know, just natural chemistry. Be funny and don't be a weirdo. What is it that you look for in guys or girls, whatever it is that you like, what is it that you look for? Um, in a female, I look for genuine connection and just someone that's very open with being themselves and not trying to flaunt for anything else or like anyone else. So genuity, you want it to be real, you want it to be fake or fabricated. I feel 100%, 100%. that. I feel that. What about you? Uh, been a guy, I want to laugh. That's like my number one thing. I want to laugh. Sense of humor. What is it that you look for? In a woman? In a woman. Yeah. Alright, in a woman I look, I have a girl, so I look to see if she hard working. If she's loyal, True. you know what I'm saying? True. If, if she gonna keep it real with it, you know what I'm saying? And if she gonna, you know, when I get mad, if she gonna be able to, you know, you know, calm me down. You know, you know what I mean? Bring the right energy yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, bring it to, to ignite the fire. Cause I feel like all 
as men, we get we get kind of mad at our girl, you know. But it's a, she she can bring it down a little bit. So that's why I look for my woman. Good, 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 good. No, that's real. And a woman I look for. Oh, are you Gab, my girlfriend? If not, then what, why am I? Why are we talking? He said, "What are we talking about? What are we really talking about?" What is it that you look for in a woman, man, whatever it is that you like? Uh, if they're really caring, they're really like supportive of you. Caring and supportive, that's important. That's very important. Those are important qualities when it comes to getting into a relationship. What about you, Officer Joshi? I look for uh, adventure. Someone uh, that's uh, willing to you know, push your boundaries, make you uh, step outside of your comfort zone. Challenge you, give you new experiences, get you out of your comfort zone. I like that. I like that. I like that. If you've made it this far in the video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. We love, love, love how you guys support our videos. We'd love to get your feedback and see what you all think about the videos. If you have any ideas, if there's anything you want to see us react to, or anything that you would like to hear us talk about in our podcast, please let us know. Question number two Why is it that we go for the bad boy, the bad girl? Because it's interesting, it's fun, it's not boring, they keep it lively. Mm. Even though it's toxic, you know it, but like, it's fun it keeps it interesting, yeah. With girls, at the end of the day, we want something forever, but keep it fun, yeah. keep it spicy. Like, you know, sometimes maybe we throw something into the mix. We like ladies, we love women, you know, so. And learn how to have fun with us. Like when you go out, be secure within yourself. Right. You know, because we're gonna meet men, there's gonna be interviews, you guys are gonna come up to us. Don't it's okay. be jealous, that's key. Don't be jealous. I don't know why. Because you hold yourself from a lot. Be secure. Why is it that we love the bad girl or the bad guy? Mm, I know. Because y'all need therapy, because you go after the emotionally unavailable people, and those are the bad girl, bad guy types. So you heard it here first. Talk your shit. Say <laughs> Get into therapy, and then you'll be normal and go for the normal people that are actually emotionally available and can be there for you. I Heal from your trauma. Heal. Yes, yes. Heal. If you'd, like me on, if you'd like me to drunkenly unpack that, um, I will add on. I think that as women, we want to think the best of people mm. and we think we can bring out the best of people yeah, and true. I think a lot of times, um, perhaps the whole trope of like, boys go to Mars, what's the, <laughs> what, and girls go to stupider or no! something? Girls go to, wait, wait, wait. Girls go to uh, Mars, God, God boys go to Jupiter. Get more, get more knowledge, stupider. Boys yeah. Get Jupiter, get um, faster, yeah. I just think that women figure out earlier on what it is that they value, that we value like our friendships, our families, relationships, mm. and like, I mean, this isn't all guys, but younger ones perhaps uh, live off the excitement for a longer period of time. We appreciate the optimism, saying perhaps. No generalization. She's like, she's giving us a chance, right? Um, Fellas, she's giving us a chance. I'm not saying all, but I'd say it takes longer for y'all to catch up to like, oh, I have to be alive for another uh, 50 years? Who is it I want to spend it with? Why do women like bad boys or bad girls? One or the, again, whatever you prefer. Tell me why, why do you think? Have you ever had an experience where you were like, ooh, you not really shit, but I like you? And tell me why. I think it's the challenge behind it to try to make a bad boy into a good boy. But I also think it's something from like your childhood, to be honest. Childhood trauma, yeah. okay. I think, I honestly think that's why. That's, yeah. that's completely fair, that's yeah. real. She might be onto something. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> She's like, t tough to follow that, but tough to follow childhood trauma, but. Probably the same. <laughs> I, I think the same. Yeah, I mean. You think it has to uh, do with upbringing? I think it just keeps the relationship on your toes. And like you said, you want, it's that challenge to try to turn them into a good person. Mm. I think so. That's what I'm saying. Like, Why is it that you pick the bad boy, the bad girl? Who picked that? 
I don't, I don't think we picked that. So you've never had a bad boy? Never. Never ever? No. Just the nice guys? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so what is it that's kept you from picking the bad boy? Um, I just feel like I would rather have someone who would treat me like a queen than someone who would treat me like, you know, garbage. So, yeah. Right, 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 right. Getting treated the right way. We can't both be the baddest b in the block. Please, me and my can't be bad as hell. That's for me. <laughs> that is reserved for me, double E. I hope you. I hope y'all listening. I hope y'all paying attention. She giving bars. Why is it that we like the bad girls? Why is it that we like the bad girls? You know what I mean? That's a hard question. Why are the girls like the guys that hurt them? Why are the boys like the girls that hurt them? Mm. It's a hard question. Talk about it, Jesus. I think we all want someone that we can't have. You know what I mean? Whoa. We all want a little bit more than we can have. You know what I mean? And that's it. And I think that's the sum basis of it. If we were, all, no, no, we're, ins we're insatiable. Exactly. We can't be satisfied. We yeah. always want more. We are all in a society that does not appreciate what we have. I feel that, that's real. Why do we go for the bad boy, the bad girl? I personally don't go for the bad girl, but if I were to be in a guy in that position that were to go for the bad girl, I feel like it's just genuinely out of lust. You want to be able to like, be the cool guy that gets the bad girl or like relive a movie scene that, you know, gets the bad chick. But other than that, I don't think it's ever genuine. So it's ego driven. 100%. It's ego driven. It's yeah. just about it's the fact that it looks cool. You were right. better than I could have. All right. No, 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 no. I respect that. I respect that. No, I agree. It's a bad guy and the bad girl. Like, the bad guy is coming out of a place of like wanting to like feel a thrill or something. But. Honestly, if you're looking for like a genuine question, like a genuine connection, you're probably not looking for the bad guy. Right. So, so if you want the genuine connection, don't go for the bad guy. Yeah. Got you. Don't go for the bad guy, the bad girl. Shout out your Instagram. You're so okay. You a m b u r c a l i. Iman. Uh, I am a n d e r d e r. Iman Jada. And, and don't get it wrong. Do you have social media, Jesus? I do not have social media. Of I course, fucks with that. Of course, he wouldn't. He's uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ Himself. I walk on water. I don't got no social media. All that. Yeah. Hey yo. So, let me tell you something, boys. To the girls and to the boys. Find someone that you love. Find someone that you'll do anything for. Find someone that you'll sacrifice your life for. Doesn't matter if she's hot. Doesn't matter if she's got that dumb truck. Find someone that you love. Find someone you love and treat them nice. And you heard that here first. Can you shout out your Instagram? Shout out your social media. I have none. And we, I'm grown. And we love. And we love that. A toxic queen with no social media. Toxic. I don't have social media either. Another toxic queen with no social media. Another toxic queen. Not a part of the video. Yeah. It don't even matter. Shout out. Shout out your social media. Instagram. Underscore underscore SS Samantha with like six A's. A toxic queen who wants y'all to follow her social media. You want to shout out your social media? Oh yeah, mine is pineapple underscore and pineapple or no, pineapple underscore and underscore tequila. Gotcha. <laughs> Just pineapple, look at pineapple and tequila. Pineapples and tequila. That's all you need to know. Um, just my Instagram, Karen and Santi. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more of our content, please click right here, and we'll see you in the next video.